Making a signature in the free app GIMP is very simple and fast, and you can make it with the characters and backgrounds of your choice and even add custom text. And if you need to download GIMP, I'll link it under the video so you can download it for free. So first of all, you need to download some images for your signature. You can download wallpapers of series and characters you want in your signature, and also download renders of characters you like, plus scenic backgrounds like beaches and skies, which you can put behind your character render. I'll also show you how to make full colored backgrounds if you want to put that behind a render instead. You also need to look up what sizes your website allows for signatures. As you can see here, the site only allows a sig to be this big at the most. If you make a signature that's larger than a site allows, it might not work or the moderators there will delete it. You need to make a sig that fits their guidelines. Sometimes you can just Google for the guidelines or search the website rules to find out what sizes they allow for signatures. Now open up GIMP and go to File and New and create a new image that is the same size which the website allows for signatures or less. If you want to change the background color to a specific color, just go to the Colors tab and Colorize and select your color and then your lightness. You probably have to adjust the lightness to see the color. Then you can drag any character renders you downloaded on top of the colored background. You can rescale any image with the scale tool and you can reposition any image with the move tool. If you're using a wallpaper for your signature image, just drag it into the app on top of the signature. If you're making an original image with a character render and another background, like a scenic background, just drag your scenic background on top and then rescale and reposition it if you need to, and then add your character render on top and rescale and reposition that. At any time, you can change the image you're customizing by selecting them in the layer window on the right, and then you can turn them off by clicking the eye next to them in the image layer. You can also use the colorize option on a layer to recolor it if you want to, like I'll do here. If you want to add special effects, you can download transparent PNGs for effects like sparkles, light rays, lens flares, fire, and other effects, and then just drag them into your signature. If you want text for your signature, you can go to cooltext.com, 
and it will make you text which you can customize and generate. You'll then drag the completed text onto your signature like any other image. When you're ready to save your work, click on File and Save and save all your work as an XCF file. You can return to it at any time and start working on your signatures again. To export your signature so you can use it, go to File and Export As and save it as a .png or a .jpeg file so you can upload it to the site you're using it on. I'll show you both examples here. Now you can upload the signature images to whatever site you want. To use the signature on my anime list, you can upload the signature to Imgur first. Click on the arrow after uploading to access the share links and then copy the BB code link. Paste that link to your signature box. Your signature box can be found through your account settings and is on the Forum tab. Click the blue Submit button when done. You can also upload the SIG and add updates and favorites to it. Go to the My Signature tab and set the image type to Custom and upload the signature as I do here. You may have to remove an old background image first before you can upload a new one. When done, click the blue submit button at the bottom. If they reject your signature, it may be taking up too much memory. So try to export it as a JPEG and upload that JPEG signature instead to my anime list. Then copy the signature code it generates up top and paste that to your signature box from before under the forum tab. And as you can see, the signature background can interfere with the text, but with what I've shown you, you can make another SIG easily with the dark color background. Just use what I showed you earlier in the video to make a new SIG. You can also add BB code to your signature through the signature box. If you want to learn about BB code, I'll link you to my video on it in the description below.